guys what is going on Techroom UK here so for today's video we got something really really special this is the Asus ROG Strix gaming Radeon RX 6900 XT this is the top overclocked edition this is a very expensive graphics card even though the new generation is out this GPU it's still uh, 1700 quid uh, 4K UHD, 16 gigabyte memory, PCIe 4.0, uh, RGB, top overclocked edition, it comes at 2.6 gigahertz out of the box and you can overclock it, you can underclock it, let me show you the back of it, I already installed it into my, into my PC, so we, we got this massive copper cold plate that uh, surrounds the chip itself and the memory around it also it's got a fan so it's got a blower style fan that cools the other components RGB fans and shroud included software GPU tweak 2 and they all you also get uh, X split one year premium subscription uh, WT fast and quantum cloud these are some free software that you get with this uh, GPU so at the back we got a type c port you can plug in directly your uh, vr headset into the gpu uh, two display ports and one hdmi it can do ray tracing uh, display port 1.4 with dsc hdmi 2.1 with variable refresh rate md fidelity fx md free sync and radeon software so inside the box beside the gpu itself you get this uh, really cool accessories like you get this trading card from asus this is the i don't know if you guys can see it let it focus a little bit better so for overclocking and for heat dissipation we got maxed out points and uh, i like this rgb effect it's shiny and also we get uh, this piece of pcb that says asus on it you can attach it to your keys or whatever it's got a hole I don't know if you guys can see very well I don't think it's focusing on something this small and we got some coordinates at the back probably the SUS uh, HQ uh, so uh, let me show you how the GPU looks inside my PC so this is how the GPU looks it's right here these are the tubes for the water cooling and the radiator and the fans are on top I currently have them on purple color because I like how it looks let me show you the RGB of the GPU if I had a vertical mount, it would uh, look better. I also mounted some uh, copper heat sinks on the back of the metal backplate of the GPU just to keep it cool. It, it's mostly cool, but just in case, I don't think I need them, but I had them laying around, so why not? I attached them with uh, thermal pads. Uh, this is the software. It's called uh, GPU Tweak 3, where you can monitor the GPU usage power target, temperature, fan speed, everything you can monitor from this software. Uh, right now it's on the default profile. So on the default profile, power target 100%, voltage 1200, memory clock 4000, GPU boost clock, it's 2569, two so that's 2.6 gigahertz out of the box. Obviously you can increase, the, increase that, you can lower it, so let's run some uh, Furmark ROG edition. We run it in 1440p. This is the Samsung Odyssey G5 monitor. So it's quite a big monitor. Um, let's do this test right now in 1440p. As you can see, we're getting about uh, 350 FPS, 340 FPS. This is the OSD software built into the graphics card, so it can show you in any game this uh, this graph right here with uh, GPU clock, CPU clock, CPU temperature, GPU temperature, and so on. So right now we're getting about 340 FPS in 1440p. This is the test. This is specially made for uh, ROG graphics card. It's like fur mark, but instead of the donut, it's got this uh, fur uh, ROG logo. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys the score in one second, it's nearly done. 
I also have this uh, monitor inside the PC which shows you the real-time temperature of the CPU and GPU. So the CPU stays at 36 degrees and the GPU is at 55. So our score is tw over 20,000. We got uh, 348 FPS average on 1440p. It's gonna be way more in 1080p. It's gonna be a bit less on 4K. But most of the games I played, it usually runs them. Even the new Call of Duty, the uh, Modern Warfare 2 with Warzone 2 and DMZ, you can do over 165 FPS with this kind of monitor the Odyssey G5 and uh, yeah overall it's a great it's a great uh, GPU you can run two of them in crossfire if you got another one uh, let me show you the box a bit they also say you get three years limited warranty you can after after you get this card you register it you get three years warranty which is really really good that's how you know it's a good graphics card uh, apart from being very expensive, I'm very pleased with this graphics card. From now on, all the VR videos I do, all the gaming videos I do, are going, are going to be captured with this graphics card while in game using the AMD software. So we got this uh, AMD Adrenaline software where you can do so many stuff from uh, recording and streaming, uh, tweaking your games, tweaking the color, uh, performance graph, VR settings so on so yeah overall overall I'm very impressed I will definitely recommend this graphics card uh, over a 3090 I had a 3090 before and it it doesn't it just doesn't do what this one does uh, except for ray tracing but I'm, I'm not playing ray tracing games very much uh, just maybe to take some pictures and this one will do just fine uh, I hope you guys like this video and enjoy this content um, Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.